Hi, I'm Kim Wilson. And I'm Natasha Marchevka. And this is Speechless. Speechless. Welcome to our behind the scenes take on real life in VO, where we share our stories, our resources, and our unsolicited opinions. Natasha, already queuing up the sip. What are you drinking? Well, I'm having Tazo Zen tea. Oh, you can't. You really see. do have all the brands, don't you? Well, this used to be sold in Starbucks, and now Starbucks doesn't sell it anymore. I don't know the backstory to that, but it's. Um, green tea, bright lemongrass, and crisp spearmint. And I miss it at Starbucks. Just saying, Starbucks, where's the Tazo tea? I really miss it. Um, but I'm I'm drinking out of my mug that says that I just got from my <laughs> dear friend and VO coach, Rhonda Phillips. Oh. Sometimes you forget that you're awesome. So this is your reminder. Oh, I never forget that you're awesome. That's well, lovely. she sent me this as a gift recently. So. That's so nice. Nice. Isn't I it nice? It. Yeah. You need to ask me what I'm drinking. Oh, I'm yes. drinking a good one and it's pretty. So today I am drinking? drinking a cucumber mint martini. Cheers. Oh, it's okay. fantastic, darling. I'm not going to take a martinis. Sip. If I mm. have a sip, if I have two sips, I'm pretty You're like much drunky done. pants? Well, it's not even fun. <laughs> it's just like. <sighs> <laughs> so good for you. I I'm very interested for me. in all the flavors of martinis, like the chocolate and whatnot. Sounds amazing. But there's just no, not a lot of no, no. I don't like super sweet. Although most how of is a martini ever super sweet? Like well, never... I mean, you put a little bit of simple syrup in for like the cucumber or the, but you, I, I don't know. I just oh, you why need to try chocolate or a coffee martini? Okay. Um, I, I'll, okay. It's not sweet. They you just, don't have to ask me twice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking about today, Kim? So today we are talking about why on earth would you ever mingle with your competition? Let me ask so, you, why? Why would you, Mar, Mar, uh, Ned, I was going to call you Marchevka. <laughs> why are you, Natasha, mingling with me, your competition? Um, great question, Kim. And actually, my story to start this talk off is, is that I didn't mingle with voice talent for the first 10 years of my business. Mm. Um, I started wow. working That's at a, a radio station. It is a long time. Um, well, because we're in our closets and it's, you know, you're just really by yourself. I started at a radio station yeah. and a couple of fellows there helped me get into voiceover in terms of setting me up. And then I just stayed in my closet for 10 years. <laughs> um, but I was moving countries as well. And um, I just oh. didn't see the benefit in, because it's a competitive business. Mm -hmm. It's doggy dog. And I used to go to uh, my degree in broadcasting is from Ragerson University in Toronto, um, the fashion and communications uh, department. Shout out. Ooh, ooh. And it was super competitive. Like if there was an audition posted on the bulletin board, oh, forget it. Paper, um, people would pull it down and take it and go do the audition and then nobody else could do it. It was oh, that's that, so nice of them. It was that backstabbing. It was uh, super competitive. So I'm out. I, spent, I can't do that. Yeah. So I spent 10 years just not really getting to know anybody. And um and then I guess it also has to do with the fact that there's more ways to reach out, you know. Well, can I just say that in my experience, I have found voiceover to be in an amazing community. Well, I it feel is. Like, I mean, you can get. I just say that now. Right. You get a million best friends right away. I yeah. mean, it's fantastic. As soon as you meet someone, the next time you see them, you're hugging them and you just like. Your it's so friend. supportive. Uh, yeah. It's nothing like your experience in college. Hello? No. Um, and I was sad to miss out on a lot of conferences early on. I just, I couldn't afford to go to conferences and I was in Canada. So most all of them were in the States and just doing that was just not feasible. So all these people were getting to know each other and I missed out and I'm really sad about that, but I've made up for it. I'm a conference fanatic. So yeah, uh, I went to a lot and grateful. And 
Some I of guess, my very best friends ahead. in the world are in voiceover, including you, Kim. Oh, thank you. Right back at you. But I guess what I was going to say is, contrary to thought, being around your peers in voiceover is actually beneficial to your career in more ways than one. Yeah. Let's tell I mean, them why. I think, well, first I think, okay, well, why? I think um, we can recommend each other for jobs. Yeah. I mean, I've recommended you for jobs. You've recommended yeah. me for jobs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I've recommended many people in VO. If we can't go, mm -hmm. if, if we have to go on vacation, here's somebody that has a similar voice print to me that can step in and take over for my client that you really trust and love. And hopefully they'll, you know, do the same for you. I mean, plus it's so isolating. Don't you want to be surrounded by people and at least dip your toe in that pool once in a while, right? You can't be in your closet for 10 years. There's so many reasons why that were revealed to me after that 10 years. It's um, bonding with people over the same situation. Like you can't mm -hmm. tell your partner, your kids, your neighbor, your your best friends right. um, what is really going on because they can't identify with you. All the different crazy things. For example, I have a great Dane lying right there. <laughs> and He's so cute. He's so cute. The guy has gas right now. <laughs> and this was happening in class last night. And I'm standing here and I had to read. I'm like, are you serious? <laughs> he usually sits with my husband all day. And I have the door open because it's hot. And I'm like, like, I'm busy right now. <laughs> that's somewhere else. Anyway, <laughs> well, that reminds me. Wait, I have to tell you my story. Um, when of, of my dog, when um, I'm in with a client, I, I, I was in with a client in, in a studio room, outside your house no, in my studio right in now and I, studio. in oh, my okay. own studio and it's all glass. My door is all glass and yeah. I can see my dog yeah. having diarrhea through right the glass outside the door. as I'm having my session. And I'm like, oh, you know, I think, I think my dog's leaving the yard right now. I'm just, I'm just give me two seconds. I'll be right back. In the middle of a session, I just had to like fake something really fast because, hello, hello. I wonder what the Can clients you? think. This happened in a session ye yesterday. Gosh, days are just melting into each other. Two days ago, where the dogs will bark if someone comes to the door and no one else is home. So right. then I'm in a session and they're barking and oh my gosh, and I'm just want because we always work from home, or yep. mostly, and these other right. clients. They, they do now, they sometimes, they're not used to the, the, you know, always working from home, dealing with these unusual situations. Right. So you wonder what they think. I don't, I, yeah, I, I, it's, a, it's a good question. <laughs> but all that to say, those are things that I would normally just share with you because you're a, a, a safe place, right? That, and you also get it because you have a booth and you know it's quiet. I can complain to you. You get it. Same You've schedule. been there. Yeah. Crazy. It's, mm -hmm. yeah, it's nice. It's nice. Anyway. Where are other places that you are connecting with talent? Because we're by ourselves. How do you connect with talent? Because I oh. found that really difficult to figure out initially. I I'd work out groups for sure. There's Can you workout. share what a workout group is in case someone doesn't yes, know? Yes, yes. Basically, a workout group is a voice mm -hmm. talent that come together and they meet via Skype or Zoom, and we all take turns directing each other, working out our vocal talent with each other. So we just basically um, direct each other. Read right, scripts. read scripts. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and... I have found that meeting people face to face, which, you know, n now that we're in the post COVID era, sort of, sort of, um, I don't know about face to face conferences for me. I think maybe we'll have some episodes about that because I loved conferences. I love seeing people face to face I know. And, and, and knowing them more mm -hmm. in that way. Although I must say you and I have gotten to know each other very well over different um, electronic means. Um, but there's something different about meeting who you work out with year after year after yeah. year in conference in, in person. person. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that just there's solidifies a bond it as well. Yeah, yeah, so it's different. lovely, and I think it's yeah. important. We're not meant to live life on this planet alone. You yeah. know, I really believe that. 
And it's also easier to recommend people when you actually get a sense of who they are in real life. So sure. Yeah. So anyway, if you're, can, if you're listening and you're not sure why in the heck you would um, mingle with other people that do the same thing as you, same sound or different sound or whatever, there's a great benefits to it. It's mm-hmm. we, Yeah. We have great friends, friendships and support and education, community, knowledge and community, all the things, all the things. Hey, yeah. listen, let's put the resources of the different workout groups on, oh, the, good idea. on okay. the bottom. So we'll give you a couple workout groups that we know of that, that really are taking on new people. And then you can sign up if you, if you want to get in touch for yeah. sure. Sounds good. Um, So comment below, click to subscribe, please. And you can email us, but we might not. (laughs) Well, we might not respond, but we'll definitely share my email address. (laughs) No, I won't. But I'm not. I don't know yet. You'll see it below if I did. (laughs) Anyway. No, you know what we should do? We should get an email address just for this show. That's probably a good idea. And then Mm -hmm. it's, yeah, good. Mm -hmm. Well, Kim, I got to say, fuck it. Let's be awesome now because we got shit to do. Damn. Let's do it. Bye guys. Uh